can't leave? No! Check my contract. I got personal days. Today's one of them. Punk is a guy who says he's a man of the people, says he's the voice of the voiceless, but all he's been lately is an insecure dude that constantly has to tell you how good that he is. I am the WWE Champion, and I've been the WWE Champion longer than you ever have been. We are back live on Monday Night Raw. Alberto Del Rio versus John Cena. Falls count anywhere. Oh, hey! Cena Punk's back! What happened to his personal day? As if Punk's actions hadn't been heinous enough, look at who he leads with. Paul Heyman. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. I'm here tonight to pay homage to a man of such extraordinary character. Show me respect! That he proudly and publicly pontificates himself to be... A Paul Heyman guy. You've been really, really loud these past weeks. I am the best wrestler. I am the best talker. But I say it because I am it. You don't even know who CM Punk is. You think because you have this, you are justified respect. No, the reason you have that and have kept it is by any means necessary, and that does not define a champion in my eyes. You are in serious jeopardy the night of champions of losing this. We still have no explanation from Paul Heyman as to what his relationship is with CM Punk. Yeah, but we do know that CM Punk is tired of all the attention in the WWE allegedly going to John Cena and The Rock or Brock Lesnar and Triple H. Lucky. I feel great. It's time to go to work. Ladies and gentlemen, John Cena has the fourth longest combined days as WWE champion in history. Yeah, and tonight in front of his hometown crowd in Boston, Cena tries to extend that number.
Ladies and gentlemen, this contest set for one fall is for the WWE Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing 251 pounds, John Cena. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, C.M. Punk. The WWE title is nearly 50 years old. It went into effect in April 1963 with Buddy Rogers as the first champion. Yeah, and only the greatest along the way have held the title, including names like Bruno Sammartino, Hulk Hogan, Bob Backlund, superstar Billy Graham, and of course, John Cena. CM Punk, a three-time world champion, two-time WWE champion, intercontinental champion, tag team champion, two-time Money in the Bank winner, and superstar of the year. And of course, John Cena, a record 10-time WWE champion, two-time world champion, three-time United States champion, four-time tag team champion. He's won the Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, and he's a two-time superstar of the year. It's a big fight atmosphere here tonight in Cena's hometown of Boston. CM Punk going for it. Nobody wants to give an inch in this. Oh, there it is! Everything CM Punk does, even the most subtle movements, are about getting into his opponent's head. And you know, King, when it comes to mind games, CM Punk is definitely among the best superstars ever. I mean, right up there with Jake the Snake Roberts, Triple H, and Rowdy Roddy Piper. <laughs> Here is John Cena wreaking havoc. You hear how his leg connected? And again, the feet fly. is down to the floor. Oh, ow! Woo, a little showboating going on here. And I think he's begging him to bring it. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, the punch connects. What an amazing kick. John Cena says CM Punk is an insecure champion and that he's desperate and delusional. You know, to be fair though, King, let's not forget that CM Punk holds several victories over Cena on pay-per-view. He also owns the 10th longest WWE Championship reign in history. Well, you're right about that. Punk recently passed superstar Billy Graham. The next man he hopes to eclipse is Diesel, who held the title for 358 days. And of course, he has to get through John Cena here tonight, which will not be an easy task. John Cena with a nice reversal. CM Punk cannot match strength with John Cena. I don't know how anybody could. He has to continue to use his head if he's going to get ahead of John Cena. There's no doubt CM Punk is a great technical wrestler, and of course he claims to be the best in the world. Well, he's held the title for 300 straight days, Cole. That might just make him the best in the world. Let's not forget, King, at the same event last year, John Cena defeated Alberto Del Rio to claim the WWE title. Now you're right, and if Cena can capture the title again here tonight, it'll mark the beginning of his 11th WWE Championship reign. CM Punk has figured out a way to take advantage right now. CM Punk had a chance and blew it. Oh, CM Punk is at the top of his game. He's never looked better. And he's fighting for something he believes was taken from him, and that's respect. Punk doesn't understand why Cena gets three feature films, or why Cena gets on television shows, or why Cena gets the top spot at WrestleMania. It's because John Cena has worked hard to earn the respect of our fans. 
I don't disagree that Punk also deserves respect. I just think he's going about it the wrong way. Well, the bottom line, according to Punk, is that he believes he has earned more respect than he's getting, and that's why he's so mad. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Uh-oh. Remember back to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view in 2011? That was the night CM Punk defeated John Cena, won the WWE title, and walked out of WWE. Oh, you're right. It was a night that changed the entire complexion of the WWE as we know it today. It was in CM Punk's hometown of Chicago. And since then, things have really gone CM Punk's way. A very vocal WWE Universe here tonight, as they always are in matches with the polarizing John Cena. And here's Cena. Cena going for the AA. Going for the AA here. Oh, but look out. CM Punk has the ropes. And what's he going to do here? Whoa, look out. Punk. Oh, out on the floor hard. And now the key is what does Cena do? The referee has begun the count on CM Punk. John Cena. Uh-oh. Cena. Cena's not going to do this. Incoming. And Cena launches himself through the ropes and takes out. Punk. Yeah, Punk landing hard on the on the mat. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Look at Cena. Yeah, Heyman, you can't see me. Whoa. And he reversed it. Mm. Good move there. I don't think they hear that one up in the rafters. into the ring now look at this he's just barely moving i'm not sure he can get back to his feet two three looks like we're going back inside Four. john cena with the offense and this is going to return to the ring Oh, Cole, look at that. Now that's how you hurt an opponent. CM Punk seems helpless. I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh. Punk looking for something big. He's not exact. Whoa! Oh, he got him! You can practically see the pain in his face right now thanks to that tremendous move off the ropes. Oh, man! Yeah, that'll take the wind out of your sails. A lot has been made about whether CM Punk has turned his back on the WWE Universe. What do you think? Well, and just looking at the facts, this is Punk's first main event since December, despite holding the title for over 300 days. I might be a little upset, too, if I were in his shoes. CM Punk's current reign is... There's a cover. Pressed hard. Oh, look at the emotion. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Oh, a reversal. Uh oh, uh -oh trying to put him away. Punk's got Cena up. Oh, oh. Going to sleep. Punk, that's it. Going to put Cena away. Cena kicks out. What? How did John Cena kick out of that? A picture perfect. GTS delivered by that man, CM Punk. And somehow, Cena survives. Look at Punk. Is he praying? Is he looking for some kind of divine intervention? He can't believe it, Kenny. Neither can I. Boy, CM Punk is frustrated. 
He can't wait for Cena to get back to, back to his feet. He wants to finish Cena off again. Here we go. Look at the rock bottom. The rock bottom from Punk to Cena. And now Cena kicks out. It's been time for Punk to finish off Cena, but it just hasn't happened. Uh-oh, it might be time to run. Great reversal. John Cena's feeling it. Whoa, check this out. He might have been down, but not out. We've seen this before. Plants him down with authority. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Man, this has been an incredible match, King. Absolutely incredible match. What Cena got in mind here? Placing Punk up on that top rope. Oh, but no, Punk fighting back. It has been so even since the beginning. Back and forth we go. Now Cena. Oh, oh, man. Superplex, shoulders down. He got him. Cena got him. What a victory for John Cena. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, John Cena. A big suplex off that top rope. Punk landing right on the back of his head. And look at this. And listen to this crowd. What a moment! John Cena with the... Wait a minute. What is the referee doing? Ladies and gentlemen, both competitors' shoulders were on the mat for a count of three. This match is a draw. Therefore, still, your WWE Champion, C. M. Punk! You gotta be kidding me. What? Both competitors' shoulders were down for a count of three. Oh! I'm, a, I'm in shock. I can't believe this. CM Punk, after a draw, is still the champion. of the WWE. CM Punk stole the voice of the WWE. Some men hunger for glory. This title is where it belongs. And the fact that I gotta sit on the bench for a little while, quite frankly, it sucks. Some men hunger for respect. Now I command respect. respect. Enough! I would like nothing more than to go to Hell in a Cell to compete against you for the WWE Championship. And then I look at Ryback, all he cares about is kicking somebody's ass. CM Punk, you need to get your ass whipped. Feed me more! Feed me more! But some men, some men hunger for more. Inside Hell in the Cell against Ryback. Oh man! Ryback has shell shocked the WWE Champion! Hell in the Cell, the undefeated challenger versus the defiant champion.
WWE Champion CM Punk has held the championship 343 days, the 10th longest streak in history. Yeah, but you know there are rumors swirling here tonight that CM Punk is scared to get into the cell with a Ryback, despite the fact that he promised to walk out as WWE Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryback's first championship match and his first Hell in a Cell match. Is there pressure? Of course there's pressure, but there's also precedent. Triple H had a huge victory in his first Hell in a Cell match, as did Shawn Michaels against The Undertaker, albeit controversial. Batista is another one. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest set for one fall is for the WWE Championship and will be contested inside Hell in a Cell. Introducing first from Sin City, weighing 291 pounds, Ryback. And his opponent being accompanied by Paul Heyman from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 218 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, C. M. Punk. The rules of a Hell in a Cell match. You can only win by pinfall or submission. The fall can take place anywhere. This is the 26th Hell in a Cell match, and the first since perhaps the greatest one ever at WrestleMania this past year between Triple H and Undertaker. The Cell was introduced 15 years ago this month, and this match has changed men. It has cut short careers, and in turn, has made the legends. Yeah, Tim White, the referee, never came back from simply refereeing a Hell in a Cell match. That's how dangerous this structure is. Throughout his run as champion king, CM Punk has won every match imaginable, but he's never won inside Hell in a Cell. What's this? A shoulder block. If there's anything we've learned about Ryback since his arrival, it's that he doesn't work by the hour. This man has destructive intentions. We've seen him make quick work of everybody put in front of him, including the pairings of Epico and Primo, Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex, among others. Fall away slam, my goodness, the strength. Oh! Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. from CM Punk. What a week it's been for Ryback. Back on Monday, he defeated former WWE Champion The Miz on Raw. And on main event on Wednesday, he beat former world champion Dolph Ziggler. And we saw him manhandle CM Punk as we went off the air on Monday night. Yeah, but Ryback has never been in a cage match, and he's certainly never been in Hell in a Cell. It's sink or swim for this beast tonight.
The first time a championship changed hands inside Hell in a Cell was back in October of 2009. And ironically, it was CM Punk who lost his title that night to Undertaker. Punk hoping history doesn't repeat itself here tonight. You hear how his leg connected? Did you see that? Wow! He is slowly getting dissected. Watch it! No! Oh, no! Hey! He's going for it again! Punk turns it around. Uh, Punk can change the outlook of a match in an instant. Just when he thinks he's going the one way, his opponent takes him another. CM Punk is just two weeks in a day from passing Diesel to becoming the ninth longest reigning WWE Champion of all time. Yeah, and after that, the next target on the list is Hulk Hogan, whose second reign lasted 364 days. Of course, though, Punk has to survive Ryback first. How can you keep Ryback down? That's what CM Punk has to solve right here. Perhaps an equalizer will help. Everything's illegal here inside the cell. There are no disqualifications. Well, these men have nowhere to go. And of course, they can use the cell as a weapon. If I'm Punk, I'd use that steel to try and minimize Ryback's great strength and power advantage. King, you mentioned earlier that there were rumors swirling about CM Punk being scared to get into the cell with Ryback. Do you believe CM Punk is scared? Well, 343 days as champion says, you're the match it. He's out. Cole, this city of Atlanta has one of the richest histories in all of sports entertainment. Of course, Atlanta played host to WrestleMania 27 in 2011, as well as two Royal Rumble pay-per-views over the years. And let's not forget WCW's storied history here in Atlanta. They held countless cards from an arena not too far from here. And of course, Jim Crockett promotions before that, where many legendary stars competed, including Dusty Rhodes, Harley Race, Sting, and Ric Flair. Woo! I don't know if Ryback's going to get what he's looking for from this crowd. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. He saw that one coming. CM Punk has had an incredible title reign, but it looks like it may end at 343 days here tonight. King, I think it's safe to say that day 343 of this title reign has been the worst for CM Punk. Yeah, and it looks like Paul Heyman agrees with you. Heyman is helpless. There's not much he can do to help Punk from outside the cell. Oh, here he is. Ryback's getting ready to hoist him up. This is going to be awesome. Oh, man. Ryback's got Punk up. Going for shell shock. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, and what the hell? The referee, Brad Maddox, is. Hey, look at this. And right now, a quick count. I can't believe what I just saw. Ryback had this match won. Oh, boy. And now, Ryback. Is after Punk. And Sidney Punk, oh, into the cage. And do you blame him? That crooked referee, Brad Maddox. Just cost Ryback the title. But Brad Maddox, I'm afraid, is going to get his. Payback is hell, Maddox. So, oh, man. oh, man, the meat hook. And Brad Maddox is going to pay. Still can't figure out what Brad Maddox was thinking. Well, he won't be thinking after this. Oh! Look out! Yeah. Oh, man! Into the cage wall and down to the floor. Maddox is history. Man, you can't blame Ryback for acting this way. Oh, Ryback is furious. And I'll look at... Heyman running away. And Ryback's not through yet. There you go, Punk. And Punk tried to escape. 
Hey, what a smart move by CM Punk. There's CM Punk climbing that 20-foot tall cage, trying to get to safety. Is Ryback going to follow Punk? Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, his back crashing into the ground.